Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be taking off and installing in the car this automatic gearbox torque converter. Right then, so the torque converter you can see is this bulbous looking thing and this is basically for an automatic car so it replaces the clutch mechanism so this means I can drive my lovely Merc once the engine's running uh, smoothly. So getting this off, there's not many videos on the Merc one that I've seen online or on YouTube or anything like that. The forums don't mention anything on alignment and things but I've watched some sort of general uh, torque converter installations and it seems like you should take it off and put it back in the gearbox. Uh, before you put the engine in because you need to be able to line up you can see this little slot here with the gearbox and trying to line that up whilst trying to get this massive engine in is not going to be an easy task so the plan is this torque converter is held on to the uh, flywheel here by two bolts here two bolts here and two bolts here so in theory i should just be able to unbolt these take it off and align this up inside the gearbox and then that is ready for the new engine to go in Sounds simple, let's crack on and see if it is. Right then, so we're at the side of the torque converter here. Now you can see on this engine, I can actually get my fingers through here. There's a gap and that gap is so that I can rotate the engine and basically get to the bolts because of course there's no space here for me to get behind and unbolt it. So this little gap is access to unbolt the torque converter. So what I'm gonna do is just rotate the engine around until the bolts line up with the hole and undo them, then do the next ones and the next ones as such. So I'll start just by aligning those now. To try and see. And 13 mil it is. So I use the breaker bar to counteract that force. Right, that one's loose. So these should now just come out by finger. There is bolt number one. Not very big. I thought they were going to be a little bit beefier than that. Right, it's coming. Oh. Oh, well, that's fairly straightforward. Now, I thought oil could come out of here, so I've put that over my bucket. So I can get this back into the gearbox, and once it's in the gearbox, it's going to um, basically go in, slot into place, and then I will be able to turn the engine, it will just spin on here, and then I'll be able to line up these bolts, and then I'll be able to tighten them up, which is brilliant. That's given me a massive bit of relief because I was worried about the alignment of this. I thought I was going to mess it up. But in theory, actually, once the engine's in, as long as this is actually in the gearbox okay and lined up in the gearbox, which is going to be pretty, pretty easy because look at the size of that. I can't really not get it in. <laughs> I might have to put it on and off, but we will try in a minute. Um, the actual engine, you can just turn and align these bolts up, no problem. So that is brilliant. Um, Right, so you join me in the engine bay. You can see this is the gearbox, right? This is where it mounts to. Now, we get the torch in there. Hopefully you'll be able to see if the camera will focus. Right, you can see just back there, there's a little notch and just here there's a little notch and those two notches slot in to the torque converter cutouts, which I showed you on the back. So what we're gonna do is try and line that up best we can um, and see if it will go flat. If it won't, then we'll have to turn it a tiny bit, adjust. But hopefully we can get that first try. Right then, so that looks almost dead flat, so I'm gonna go with that. That's not gonna be so easy with my fingers, ow. Right, okay, so let's get the torch in line there. Right, now. Now it's a matter of pushing. Oh, I've just pushed it again and it's moved now. It's gone in even further now. That felt positive. Well, that seemed like it went on just a bit too easy, didn't it? <laughs> 
Right then, so the torque converter is installed. Now, when I put it in initially, it felt a bit loose. Um, and then I twisted it and gave it a push. And as I twisted it, it slotted in and uh, it felt very positive. It felt like those two pins had gone in. Um, but it's about 10 mil from the casing and the engine actually has an indentation on the flywheel. So it should go in and meet together perfectly. Uh, but of course, when the engine goes in, we will find out. But fingers crossed, nothing will be wrong with that. It had a positive click and I personally think it's in perfectly. So hopefully you've learned how to see, well, it's, it's easy to get off as you've seen. This was my first time taking it off, so it's all a learning curve. But fingers crossed when the engine goes in, that'll be pucker. So thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.